Hey everyone, this is Sandeep from Balinas. Often we come across situations where we need to use different layout for our cell service portal in ServiceNow and that is not available out of the box. So today we are going to see how we can create a new layout and use it for cell service pages. So I, I am in a ServiceNow instance and I will go to the page that we want to modify. So here's the page. Currently, it uses admin one column. So it is a one column long page. So let's have a look how what I mean. Let's, if I go to content management and if I go to pages, this is the one I'm talking about. So I'll open this. As you see, this is the page here. And it uses admin one column, which is uh, an out of the box option from service now. So now let's consider a situation where we want to divide the content of this page. So this is the header, and there's something broken has been added in the main content of this page. So what we would like to do is we would like to divide the main content of this page into two columns one is 30 percent one is 70 percent well that is already available in service now out of the box offering but let's consider for one situation that if we were to create one such how do we do that so let's go back to the page i see that layout is is uh, is being used here is admin one column so let me copy this name and what we want to do is we want to create a new layout so I go to content management and I will click on layout so I will find the admin one column here is the one so I click to open in a new window so here is the one which is rendering this page currently so we could have modified this page but uh, for the sake of convenience uh, I generally do not prefer modifying out of the box uh, stuff so let's just create a new layout so what I would do is I will create a new layout I will go to layouts and click on new and let's give it a name demo to layout and what we do is let's just copy this and remove the the post and then paste so let's just understand what this code is so it says so this page consists of DIVs. So we see that there are header and then there is the rest of the body along with one footer. The main important thing to look out for is the areas where it says drop zone is equal to true. These are the uh, segments within this layout where we can drag and drop items when designing page and the second item is the ID so every such drop zones have their own IDs service now uh, drop down uh, service now layout generator can, can pick up what what to do with these drop zones uh, with the help of the ID identifier so what we do is we create one new uh, body container so let's just do that and I will create let's just copy from here it is a header so let's change it to body container although it does not matter much it is just css 
class and the important thing is the id and drop zones the div ends here so we have to get rid of this forward slash and then we have to close it like this so we have a space here inside where we can create a new table Create a new table, close this table. And create a row. Close this row. Here we create column. And we create two of them. And these columns become drop zones, not this DIP anymore. So let's just copy the ID rather cut ID and drop zones and then paste here respectively remove spaces here okay and this IDs need to be unique so if we see there were drop zone 0 and then drop zone 10 20 and then the footer becomes drop zone 100 so let's just say this is drop zone 30 and this is 40 right and we have to say that this tables weight is 100% of the div and the columns should be Let's say for example one becomes 20% and another becomes 80%. So here you specify how much width do you want for these drop zones, which are in turn columns for a table. And I would give one more uh, attribute here which is the align equals top so that these items properly render so i think that's about it i control all and copy before saving this and now the next step would be to use this macro uh, in the targeted page so i would go to the page which we will modify and the name starts with demo. I change this to demo. And it has come. So then we save this page. And I will then edit the contents so what I like is I get rid of well header is alright uh, so I'll click on add content and you can see here so this div has been fragmented into two parts one is 80% one is 20% another is 80% and these are drop zones as well so what I do is I was using something about um, content block so I add it over here again and I have one more item to add here on the left hand side of the page and it drew I created one 
greatest titan let's say i am this one so i if i click click now if you see it has been fragmented into two parts one is holding the left hand side content another is the right hand side well we would need to work further to make the spacing between two items but that is another topic so this is how we create uh, fragments within page or rather layout so i hope uh, this video was helpful to you thank you for watching and for more such videos and to explore more fantastic cms products please visit palihas.com the details are available in the description of this video thank you again